In this tip, I'm going to show you how to use the rank function and the index function for labeling the top end values on the chart. In this example, on the left hand side, I'm showing monthly sales and I'm labeling the top five using the index function. On the right hand side, I'm showing sales by subcategory and I'm using the rank function to show the top five. Let's see how we do it. First off, I have a chart of monthly sales. I want to make the top end dynamic, so I'm going to create a parameter. Let's call that our top end. I'm going to change the data type to an integer, and for now, I'll just leave the current value at 1. We're going to show this parameter so that we can dynamically see how it works. The next thing I need to do is create a calculated field. I'm going to call this one labels by index. The calculation is quite simple. We're going to put an if statement, and if the index function is less than or equal to our parameter, then we want to show the sum of sales. And let's hit OK. Drag that to the label shelf, and we can see we have one value labeled. If I change it to five, I now have five values labeled. However, notice how the five labels are the first five in the view. That's because of the way that the index function computes. So we want to force the index function to only display it by sales. So on the label field on the text shelf, let's choose edit table calculation. We need to change the specific dimensions. And then in the sort order, we need to change it to custom. The measure we're going to use is sales. The aggregation is sum. And we want to choose descending. And now you can see we have the top five labeled. If I change it to the top three, we now have just the top three labeled. Let's try it with the rank function. Again, I'm going to show my parameter so I can test it. I'm going to create a calculated field, and this is going to be my labels by rank. Very similar calculation. So if the rank, now the rank function requires a measure, so it's going to be the sum of sales is less than or equal to my top n, then I want to show the sum of sales. And hit OK. And if I drag that to the label shelf, notice how I automatically get the top three. Choose top five, etc. So the ranking function is automatically doing the sorting that we had to manually set up in the index function. Most of the time, I would use the rank function. I would only use the label function if I want to specify the order that I want things ranked. And that's all there is to it. Have a good day.